What's happening? It's your boy J. Terry, Suave Cuts. My first tutorial, you know what I'm saying? Just playing around, man. Y'all gotta excuse the quality, man. But hey, today, I'm cutting a drop fade. You know, keep the curve in, cutting it down way limp. This man right here, this uh, Big Mouth Jerry in the chill. Social media influencer or whatever, comedian or whatever. You know, right now I'm cutting this down with the, the number one guard with the grain. Man, I thought I was in a good spot so y'all can see, but I'm moving all around. I guess I just got comfortable with the cut. You know, and got to start getting all in the way. But man, like I said, this is my first tutorial, man. So y'all bear with me. I'm going to try to do better the next time. But man, uh, y'all can watch the whole video. Y'all can see my system, how I do it a little bit. This man right here got some crazy cowlicks. I'm cutting with the grain. You know, like I'm going against. He got some cowlicks in the front. So that's one thing y'all got to be aware of when y'all cutting hair at cowlicks. Everybody hair gonna grow the same. You know, everything gonna grow straight or whatever. So really comb the hair out so you can uh, see the pattern. It's kind of like a difficult, he kind of like a difficult client to cut. You see y'all in the mirror, all on the phone or whatever, but some stuff you just got to bear with, you know. Then it's a Sunday, I don't really care on a Sunday, it's just a $50 appointment, you know. Yeah, now I'm putting the design line in. Like I see you want to draw fade, I put it in with the clippers. So it ain't as harsh as putting it in with the trimmer, it's kind of easy to get out. Asking what he wants the facial hair, man. Y'all make sure y'all ask a lot of questions when y'all clean the hair. They want to do it. They want to keep facial hair or what? Once you cut it off, ain't no putting it back on. Now I'm balling them out. Kind of put the line in the shape of the head. Like I said, you get a drop fade, keep the curve. So I stay below the curve. Touch the client over here, change for good. Now I think I got the open blade. I'm using the wall magic clip. Go up about an inch. Like I said, I hate them in the way, but y'all just stick with me. You know, you might get some out of it. I'm gonna try to do better the next time. Try to get that, that open blade, and even with your uh, ball line as possible. Go and hitch all the way around. Now, I think I took the one and a half guard. He likes to keep it dark. I think I closed the one and a half guard up. Went against the grain, all the way up to the parada ridge. I'm gonna have to show y'all what guards I'm using too on the next one. Like I said, that's my first one, so y'all leave me some comments, let me know how I did. You know I'm all in the way. Yeah, I think I took the one and a half guard closed, went all the way up to the parada ridge. Trying to smooth it out. You gotta be aware that every every uh, texture of hair react different to the guard. So it's best just to be safe. I think I put the one guard back on, trying to smooth it back down. You got a lot of swirls. Got a mean cow leak in the front, so I like to try to make sure it's all even. Cut it down multiple times with the one guard. And I think I open that one up, then fade it right below that one and a half. Like I said, he don't he like it kind of dark, he don't like it too light, so if I'd have went up. How with that one and a half, it would have made it lighter on the side. I was trying to keep it dark, give it that good drop of it. So I think I had took the one and a half, open it up, and I'm cutting it down, trying to make sure everything's smooth. One closed. You can see, you got some mean cowlicks in the front, mean swirls in the front. Check it out, y'all. I might learn some. 
talking about it. That's how I learned how to cut hair on YouTube. Anybody trying to learn just the process of doing a fade it might help you out. just started cutting when I started barber school, you know. So I'm bursting it down probably then. After I did the one close, I'll do the open blade, take the bar line out. You know, I rarely use the half guard. You angle the open blade like a certain way. 45 degree angle, 90 degree angle. Kind of work like the half guard, you know. Then I go back with my Andy's Masters blade a little longer than the walls I say the open blade on the Andy's Master probably opens up to a .75 or something like that I learned it's good for detailing in between that that open blade and that one closed on, on the wall so a lot of a lot of hair cutting is just understanding the guards and how the hair texture will react to the guard
face you heard, tell me how you want it. Like I said, it's kind of hard, difficult haircut. He moves a lot. He like to be on the phone a lot. You know, every client different. And just looking back at the camera, it's a couple of things, you know, on real details, a couple of things I wish I got when you got clients like this that can't be still. Sometimes you want to go and get them up out the chair, you know. And everybody don't want to sit in your chair for an hour, you know. Some people just want a good, a good haircut, line them up good and get them out of there. They, don't, they ain't got to have the most detailed fade. That's one thing you have to learn. But another thing, like everybody practice, like I said, everybody got a different texture of hair. And every haircut is practice, so you always get better. You just got to keep cutting. Trying to get the facial hair right. Using them slow line pros. I love them for facial hair, small, small spaces. See, man, it won't be still. <laughs> All little mirror. Take the cape off, make sure you clean them up. Behind the neck, behind the ears, on both of the neck strip. It's all about the details, about the small things. You don't want nobody to get home and look in the mirror and see something you missed. So, and I'm, I'm a believer. There ain't no such thing. Ain't no such thing as a perfect haircut. You know what I'm saying? But just do your best. Get it the best you can do. You want the chin tighten up a little bit, bring it in some. I like to give them the mirror. Some barbers just hold the mirror in front. I like to give them the mirror, let them check it out. They sell. The man ready to go. But I took the shears, knocking down any little hairs hanging over the line. Man, it's all about the details, about the little things, you know. Spray that oil sheen on them, hit them with that alcohol. It's over with. Drop fade. Keep the curve in it. My first tutorial, man. I think he liked it, man. He was feeling himself, man. What y'all think?